being that, yeah. All right. So welcome, okay. everybody. Scott Jansen here, back with another student interview today. We have the amazing Aaron with us today. Aaron's got an incredible story. He is a part of my 100K coaching program, but has recently just completed my advanced conversational hypnotherapy program. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. The transition where Aaron was before um, as a therapist to where he is now and the feedback I've been getting from everybody he's working with has just been absolutely astounding. So I do want to talk to Aaron, see what he's been doing. But uh, firstly, Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. I know you're super busy, so I appreciate you spending some time on this interview. Thank you, Scott. But, uh, as well. Yeah, let's start from the start because uh, mm. this is, as I mentioned before, this is the first time we've really chatted one-to-one. Mm. What got you into therapy and healing people in the first place? How did it start for you? Well, I was always in the medical profession. I was a nurse to begin with. Okay. And um, then after that, I get off from my nursing and went into medical device. And I got retired like 45 years old after I got uh, being worked as a CEO for a number of years, too much stress, and that's it. That's it, all right? Yeah. And, and, and it was like, I was looking for ways to get myself back together. Okay. Looking everywhere, here, a piece, there, a piece. So eventually, I had to piecemeal everything myself, and yet, I'm still not even recovered at all. Mm-hmm. So this year, I'm actually 56 years old. And I, last year, there's some, 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 something that came to my mind and said, hey, since I have all my experience of looking through therapies and working with therapies, mm-hmm. and I'm also very interested in coaching, counseling, and all those modality in helping people, why don't I just put it all together and let me be the therapist? Sure. Go and help more people like myself. Mm-hmm. That's how it got started, right? It's how, how I start to do my formal training, and also thanks to the to, thanks to COVID COVID nineteen yeah. thanks to them because or else there don't be so many of online program available. Yes, yeah. So you got into the therapy. Um, you obviously learned hypnotherapy. Did you learn coaching and NLP and all that stuff, or was it just oh, yes, traditional? Yes, yes. I learned I learned coaching. I learned hypnosis. I learned NLP. You name it. I have it. Okay. <laughs> but did you have a goal, Aaron, to start a business with it? Or was this just mainly for your own self-healing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually used that for my own self-healing when I started. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I, I dashed it up with uh, some of some of the uh, client. And also, I dashed out with some people, well, some of my friends. Okay. Then I'm getting a hang of it more and more confidence. That's why I, I decided to say, hey, that could be a business. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when, you were, when you were working with clients and friends, what were they coming to see you for? Was it just sort of a bit of everything or did you find a niche or anything like that? Well, they come to see me for mainly anxiety, mm-hmm. eating issue, mm-hmm. uh, stress. Okay. Okay. And, and sometimes that uh, abundance issue, not able to make money. Yeah, these are the things you're coming to see me for. Okay. Um, and obviously, transition a little bit forward. Aaron jumped into my 100K coaching program. But like I mentioned before, you just completed the advanced conversational hypnotherapy program. Um, and my question would be, why did you join that program with such a background and so many certifications? What problems were you having with the current way that you were treating clients? Well, in fact, I was following you with your Udemy program. Okay. I, was just, I was just getting bloody how curious what this guy is doing <laughs> you know what yeah this, 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 this guy is saying something and the fella just do what he's doing so when, when, when you first wrote out the first course the first intake i didn't get in mm-hmm. because that i am still on this on, on the dream of it and see what's happening yeah then i realized that hmm there is something that i could learn this is something that I always heard of Newton Erickson. And I know that you, you are a trained under Newton Erickson. Mm-hmm. And well, I cannot go to have training under him because he is no longer here. Mm-hmm. So it is like, okay, I, I would like to go and experience what this is all about conversational hypnosis. Big names, right? Yeah. Huge name. Conversation and put people into trance. Hmm. That's quite nice. Mm-hmm. So that idea intrigued me and say, okay, if I can just talk to people and put it into trance, I could be a, you know, a, a fantastic therapist. Yeah. And that's where I jump in 
Mm-hmm. Who knows? You know, after the two days, it's totally transformation. Yeah. Well, what did you it learn? Is- what were the biggest takeaways for you compared to the old way you were doing things? Well, I learned that uh, basically that uh, there is a cliche that we all learn and said that we all have our own conscious, unconscious resources and to solve our problem. That was a cliche we all learned. But in your, in your session, I, I realized that it's not a cliche anymore. Mm-hmm. All right? It is the truth. Yes. All right? And that, that, that is only for me to, to, to think preparing how to solve the, the, the client problem. Mm-hmm. There's only the preparation because they have their own resources. Yes. Oh, my God. So it is, <laughs> there is no pressure on me to say that, okay, his problem is my problem. No, no, no. His problem is his own solution. Yeah. And I like about it is by just talking and sometimes doing nothing and just looking at the person. Mm-hmm. And the person will get, get into trance. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm just wondering that how could I have done so many training and none of them tell me so easy. Yeah. Yeah. So but what, what were you doing before was more like the, the script and techniques and all preparation, all that stuff. Is that what you were sort of doing before? Yeah. Before that, when I see a client, I need to get my client to fill out forms and forms and forms to know what is their problem. Mm-hmm. So upon that, we still do a, a pre session interview okay. it could be, be half an hour to 45 minutes to understand what's happening oh wow okay. so time time is taken by filling out form mm-hmm. by looking through their form mm-hmm. doing pre-session interview mm-hmm. and then when we get to the session it takes me about two to three hours oh wow oh, okay i'm with you okay yeah and then oh. after that i have to get my clients to do some homework mm-hmm. and as you know you know most 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 people like most people will get very excited in the first one week. That's right. Then they get and lazy. After that, they will give you all their logical, legitimate reasons why things are not going to happen. And then they come back to tell me, Aaron, that's a work. Wow. <laughs> all right. So I have to repeat sessions again, looking what's happening again. And my sessions get very long. And it's not exhausting for my clients, very exhausting for me as well. Mm-hmm. All right. So I was just thinking, I say, hmm, maybe in one month I will do five clients. Mm-hmm. This is so long. Yeah. All right. But after taking your set, after taking your courses, it changed my idea. Yeah. Because that the sessions that I did with, with my practices and so on and so forth, I realized that the fastest that I did was 15 minutes. You couldn't believe it. 15 minutes, people do. <laughs> Then, the longest I did was that one hour. It, it never happened. In one hour in my previous training, I just get beginning of the session. Yeah, you've just gone Close through. your oh, eyes. Yeah. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Yeah. All right. This is where I, 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 I get there when, 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 when in, in a previous training that I had. Mm-hmm. But now, it's that one hour. It's all done. Yeah. And the, the way that you teach us to ensure that the client got everything covered before they go for the session. I love that. Yeah. I love that because that the client just tell me, Aaron, fuck off. Don't <laughs> the see off anymore. Yeah. yeah. Enough. I, yeah. I, I, I really want to change. That's it. That's it. Don't, 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 that's, don't doubt me anymore. Yeah. Okay. You are the one who asked me to get lost. I'll get lost. Yes. That's where right. that testing comes in so handy. And it's just, it's always a bit of a shock when people go, oh, I don't test my clients. I just wait for the change to happen. But as you've just realized now, the reason your sessions are gone from hours down to just singular is because of the testing and the thorough testing you're doing to make sure the problem is actually gone. That's right. That's right. And also that I realized that now I can just charge a lot for the speed. Yes. All right. People are not paying a lot for number of sessions that I have to do for the person. Mm-hmm. All right. So if a person's paying $2,000, I put in 10 sessions. <sighs> By then, I don't know how many weeks that you had to go through before yes. things will happen. Yes. But now 
maybe I tell him that mostly one or two. Most likely two. That's it. One yep. follow up. That's it. Finish it out. And you are, you're good to go. What's that like for you now, being in that place where you totally contrast to the way you were doing things before? Freedom. Feeling freedom. Feeling that this is something that uh, I, I would love to do. Uh, free up a lot of time for me to think of other things. Mm-hmm. Right? To, to learn other stuff. To put my time into business, into yes. marketing. Yes. All right. And and also for me to become a better marketer, a better salesman, a better therapist. So yes. that is a lot of resources given back to me. Yeah. Which is very thankful to you in a sense that you show us the golden path to go. All right. And initially I, I thought was it couldn't be that easy. That's when, what when I, I said. was like, looking at your training, <laughs> I say, hmm. That is Scott. That guy has years and years of experience. Mm-hmm. But then I started my first session. Then I realized that that's not Scott, that's me. That's it. It's not that hard. <laughs> and it's not that hard. It's just I have to I have to shut my brain off and say, shut up. Yes. Shut up. All yes. right. And put, put focus on the person. All right. Don't give when well, the first session, I, I, I remember very vividly my mouth is coming out with, with, with a tooth and I have to swallow the, the tooth into me and say, shut up. Yep. This fella is doing his own thing. Yeah. All right? Don't interrupt. Yeah. You, you couldn't do, you, you couldn't know better than the person. Yeah. Isn't that a All profound right? place to get to when you realize that the more I talk and the more I do is going to take my client longer to have a breakthrough. That's true. Because when, when I realized that I also tested one or two sessions where I talk a little bit, mm-hmm. then I realized that what, what you show us in the training, when you start to give some suggestion, I got a slap on my face. This, I tried that before. Doesn't work. Talk too much. Yeah, talk too much. I say, oh, I remember Scott slapped me. In the sessions, so the same thing is like I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. right, so I stop talking, and sometimes they, they even tell me, I don't know what to do. I say, Yeah, you don't know what to do. That is just the beginning, and you start when you will start, you'll get to know very soon. All right. Sometimes it's just need to support, give them space. That's right. Get them, get them into it, and encourage them that. To remind them that they have all the resources within to resolve any issue that they they have. That's right. I think there's a lot of supporting role. Yes. Which is a lot easier to support the person during yes. that session rather than trying to think out whether I use age regression, yeah, or inner child, or whatever, 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 whatever. All right. Okay. So, in fact, I was just t- telling myself. I say. Why don't I meet up Scott like a few years ago? Right? <laughs> That's what everybody says. Why don't I meet you? Before? I will save a lot of money. Yeah. You know, I will save a lot of money and a lot of time. Yeah. So mm-hmm. looking forward into your therapy career, the way that you're doing things now, Aaron, what are you most looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to helping more and more people in the quickest way. All right. And I'm no, I'm no longer, I'm no longer call myself as therapist. Okay. I am I'm, I'm going to and this morning I, I was just in my dream and suddenly my words come to my mind and he say Aaron you're no longer a therapist I say oh okay <laughs> you're no longer a coach okay you're no longer a counsellor okay so who am I you are a transformational conversationist beautiful I like that that's quite nice. I say, whoa, big names. But I like that. Yeah. It, it sounds better. You. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds better because I just conversation, right? Yes. I just talk to people. Yeah. yeah. What's it like to know you're never going to have to prepare anywhere, anytime yeah. again? No reading scripts or nothing like that. What's that like for you now based on you know all the training you've done, the years of experience? What's that like now to be free of that stuff? A lot of freedom. Mm-hmm. There is no need to, 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 to preload myself. Right. And sometimes that, you know, 
as we all know that when, when, when clients come to me and they give, give me one whole bullshit and we take that bullshit back to do homework, he told me that he has an abundance issue. Then I'm preparing for abundance. I'm looking for script abundance here, abundance yeah. there, abundance there, and get that script ready. And then in the middle of the session, abundance? No. No. Abuse. Huh? What? <laughs> but you've what? prepared for the abundance. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I get panicky because I prepare for abundance. And all those things that I prepare has gone down to drain. All my work has gone down to drain. And with now, Scott, really, I feel the freedom wherever they go. They don't even tell me what issue they have. Yeah. Isn't that strange? Right. It's okay because that if they want to try, in fact, I, I love that better because in a sense that they have the freedom to, to, to do whatever they want to do, they feel in control and they won't feel embarrassed if yeah. even that they have a, a very difficult scenes to go through. Yes. They can do it in their own privacy yeah. and knowing that they don't need to tell me at all to get a change. Yes. Yes. That's nice. That is yeah. nice, you know. It is like I, I still remember I did some cases where there was some sexual abuse and all this thing. Could you imagine that they had tell me in that session? Yes, I understand. <laughs> I got a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. It's like I had to keep everything in private and confidential and remember not to tell anyone. <laughs> and he is putting all the all the rubbish back to me. Yes, correct. And I have to literally putting a, a barrier against it so that it will not affect me throughout the whole day. Yes. Hey, but now, right. yes. But now it is so interesting. You just close your eyes and they laugh and they cry mm -hmm. and they smile. And then I ask them, what's happening there? That's it. That's freedom. That's freedom. And they say, well, I'm done. I say, okay, good. <laughs> you're done. Full stop. But before you, I let you go. Let me test out whether you're done or not. That's it. Yeah. That's awesome. What's been, um, what's been the biggest surprise working with clients now? What have you noticed that has really caught your attention? Like, wow, this has really changed things up. I think the clients like it. Uh, it is a rapid. Mm -hmm. There is... There is no need to get their skepticism up when I say that close your eyes. Yeah. All right. They do not know where it is beginning and where it is to be. Yes. End. Yes. It's awesome. Yesterday, it? yesterday I just have a client. I was talking. He was she was crying. She was doing a lot of those, you know, the UM, the unconscious movement. And I just knocking my head and say, take your time. Yes. Take your time. And then in the middle of the session, she asked me, have we started? <laughs> you know what I told her? We are almost in the end. Beautiful. And I said, oh, really? I said, how do you feel? Mm. Well, I feel very peaceful. I said, yeah. She came in with a lot of emotion, a lot of anger, yes. a lot of lethargic, tired, fed out. It was like, I can see a beast coming out. But then at the end of it, it was like a little puppy. Beautiful. Yeah, and she was happy with the whole thing. And no pressure on you. And no pressure on me. And she doesn't even aware that the session has started. Oh, it has ended as well. I just told her it's ended. It's a whole yep. nice. Says, yeah, nice. No resistance, no pressure. No resistance, no pressure, no resistance. And I find that so far, all my clients get stick to it because it's their own solution. Yes, 100%. Yeah. They come up with their own solution. They buy their own thing. They, they, they see their own problem. They say, aha, this is where I am. And sometimes I just need to tell them that, okay, then go and make sense out of it and see what does that mean to you. Mm -hmm. I just need to actually get them thinking about the whole thing. That's right. And then if you can create that. So I always ask them, who created this? Is it me? I say, yeah. So 
if you are the one who ate it, what does that mean? Yes. Then they will tell me, huh. So I can uncreate as ER. Yeah. Then go and get it done. Right. So they just go in and, and do and then I, I see that sometimes wow, well, it's very interesting now. I can have a client in front of me get silent about 20 minutes. And I was I was silent 20 minutes. You know what I did? <laughs> What's that? Off my camera, I off my microphone. I just look at him. And whenever I need, I just turn on my microphone and say, that's it. Isn't it easier? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's so much, it's so much easier. easier. Client yeah. does all the trance themselves. They do the therapy. And we as the observer just have to sit there and make sure they're safe. That's it. No yeah. words needed. No words needed. Yeah. And the only words that I use most of the time is called, that's right. That's the best suggestion go. ever. There you go. That's right. There you go. Or you are so close. Yeah. And that's the old Ericksonian stuff. Yeah. That's it. So so it's like they, they will look at me sometimes, they, they will just open their eye and look at me. Say you're so close, all the way down. <sighs> down again. That again. Yeah. 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 So it's fun. I, I I like it. It's fun. No pressure on me. And I am definitely after the COVID, I am going out to test people in the public. Beautiful. So where to from now? Moving into the future, like long-term goal with the business and treating clients, what's the goal? Well, I want to bring my therapy business to the range of at least about, you know, doing at least 10 clients to 15 clients a month. Beautiful. Yeah. And, and also looking at my charges, I'm going up. I have more confidence in charging these people because I awesome. know the things that I'm doing get results. Beautiful. And they can get it in the shortest time. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Nice for them. Nice for me. That's it. Clients always pay more for speed. I don't know why people get confused about that. Clients are lazy, time poor, just like every human being is on this planet. Get That's results right. quickly. You can definitely charge more. That's right. And the, the, the longer they, they, they get results, they will just have to think that the therapist is incapable of solving my problem. Yes. Because it takes so long. Yes. All right. It takes so long. There is a fatigue in the, with the client. There's a fatigue with the therapist. Yes. The, the therapist will feel that, oh, shit, I may, I may not be so good. That's why it takes so long. And the confidence and the client, goes down. Yep. Exactly. And the client will think that, silly fella, how come he come back into it again? Mm -hmm. How many sessions more? But now it's like, done. Done. One session is done. Oh, very easier. good. Way easier. easier. A lot, a lot, a lot easier. A lot more fun. Yes, and that's the a goal. lot more fun. And I and 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 a lot of more just focus. Put my focus onto my client and not to their problem. And turn your brain off. Who needs it? Yeah, there's no need for me to 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 solve their problem. And I feel that. It is like okay, I am just beside you. I don't I'm just beside you. I'm not sitting opposite you now. Yes. I'm sitting beside you to give you space to encourage, create an environment for you to solve your problem. Yes. I'm your peers. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And then they pay a lot for peers. Yep. And nice. I think I think the best thing of all as well, we don't have to come up with the solution for them. That's right. And the solution they come up with, I have had clients, not 100% of the time with my clients come up with a solution, I think in my head, I would have never thought of that. Oh, yes. But here they are transforming. Oh, yes. Well, it was very interesting that the, the, the client that I just did yesterday it was just like a solution to her was a song. <laughs> oh, wow. You never would my have God. thought of that. I never thought about a song. I never wish song would, 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 would click. Mm -hmm. It was like in the brim of burst breaking down the song starting to become. And you say, Oh, I do you heard about that song? What song <laughs> is that? I say, Yeah. And what does that mean to you? That means I can let go. Yeah. You know, I, until now, I still don't know what song is that. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to know. That's the best bit. That's it. As long uh, as I think, wow. Yeah. So I just tell him, wow, that is one of the resources you just has forgotten. 
and you that's see? all it takes. All your unconscious mind got so a lot of things for mm-hmm. you to pick it up. Yep. Just go and pick it up again. And at the end of the day, they thank you for it. They look at you and think, Aaron, how did you fix me or heal me like this? You take the credit, but we know they've done all the work. That's it. That's it. You know, so, so most of the time ask me, Aaron, what have you done? <laughs> I say, okay, that's it. We're done. done. We're, We're done. done. We're done. So then, then I have some of my fellows, uh, hypnotherapists will ask me, what, where is that induction? I told her a long time ago. Yeah, you don't, you've forgotten. <laughs> the whole thing was. <laughs> yeah, long time ago. It started the moment you, you open your mouth. Yeah, as soon as, <laughs> soon as we ask, what's the problem? And they give us the problem, they're already in trance because that's where the problem is. So why do we yeah. have to do inductions? That's just a weird thinking way around it. That's right. That's awesome. Aaron, thank you so much, man. That was cool. It's Thanks, so Tom. good to see where you started. And I mean, you've, we were on the course for just a couple of days and the results we're getting are just transformational. So man, well done. I'm going to let you get on with your day. Thank you so much for sharing the feedback about that. We're going to have the next training coming up very soon, which I know you're going to be on. It's just going to get better and better. But Aaron, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the Facebook group as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Thanks, Scott. Thanks for all the good work that you give it to us. Bye. Pleasure. Thanks, Aaron.